Hey everyone, real quick I wanted to show you some tips I have on Magic Mask. This is stuff that has worked for me in my filmmaking and I just love it. I'm not great at rotoscoping so this really makes things simple uh, for me anyway. It's not perfect, you have to do some finessing sometimes, but let me show you a couple of quick examples of how I use it. So here we have a shot of my nephew doing an alien film. Uh, that we shot it's called not today <laughs> if you go on my channel you can watch it It was a lot of fun he wanted to be a superhero so we did it uh, so let me show you a couple ways to use magic mask real quick let's go over to the fusion page and here let's say we wanted this guy to be something different right because he's in a sci-fi let's put him somewhere else I don't know so shift space you're gonna type magic mask till you find it hit add and here we are let's say we want to put him in you know the sky is not our normal earth sky we want it to be able to see the outer space right uh, like nighttime but during the day so here we go we want to remove the sky so we're just gonna magic mask we're gonna draw here you go here we go and then you see that you see that it did pretty much all the work imagine masking all of that out now is it gonna be perfect no but for our purposes it'll work so we'll go over here to the mat at this top right section and here you can mess with the blur of the mask. You can mess with how much of the mask you want if you want to expand it or make it smaller. Threshold, gamma, all that stuff. For our purposes, we want to invert the mat. And there you go. The sky is pretty much gone. You know, again, it's not perfect. You can always go back in here and rework it. See, every time you make it, it the computer realizes what you're trying to do and just gets a little bit more out. So, for our, like I said, for what we're doing, this is great. Then I go, what I do, don't necessarily have to do this, but my flow is I'll go back to the edit page and you see it's all gone now. It's just a black sky. Move the video up to two. And then similar to Premiere Pro layer system. I, I borrowed this picture from the internet of, the, uh, of an astronaut. So there you go. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, if we go back to, and then of course the underneath layer, you can adjust it. You know, we want the guy there. There you go. So if we go back to uh, the fusion page you're also going to want to track this obviously this is a video so you're going to want to track the mass so the whole clip is that way so if we go to tracking back at the start of this you'll see this back and forth arrow just hit that and it will track the entire shot track that mask or do its best to track the whole shot um, for what you need we're not going to do all that right now uh, so we've stopped the render so let's delete this now I'm going to show you some magic mask stuff in the color page so if we're here in the color page we're on our first node and let's say my nephew in this shot I feel like he's too dark I didn't light him good enough I it was my fault so let's go to magic mask which is over here this kind of double image and let's again this is not going to be perfect for tutorial purposes but let's get him there you go so now, well, what did we do? Nothing happened. Okay, down here at this double box, if you click that, it will show you what is in the mask now. And depending on your computer and the speed, you can always choose better. It'll kind of tighten it up, refine some of the lines in the mask, make it a little, little tighter. You can mess with the radius, consistency, blur the radius of the mask a little bit so it's not so sharp. And then same as before, you want to track it because obviously he moves in the shot so right here you'll see the arrows again back and forth and we just want to track it and then you know depending on how fast your computer is it will track so we're going to stop um, and then down here you'll see when it's completed the whole thing will be blue so let's get rid of this overlay we know the mask is there and let's just say like I said he's a little dark so we want to brighten him up to pull him from the background so I'm just going to for this I'll use the curves and voila, look at that, we can make him really bright, we can make him really dark, all of that. And then if we wanna have some fun, let's turn him into the angry, he's an angry alien. Turn up the contrast a little bit and everything will happen within that mask. And it's pretty cool. So now that we've got him angry and red, um, here we would have tracked the whole thing. So you may have to, like I said, you may have to refine it, but that's how you might use this for color you may just, you know, need it for making a blanket in the shot. If it's red, you want to make it really red, you know, anything like that. If it's the sky, um, let's use a color, for instance. So let's reset this mask here. Let's reset the node. And then let's say we wanted to do color the sky. We want it to be more, uh, more blue, right? 
Let's get our overlay on. There we go. Again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Um, if you need to remove anything, use this negative mark and then voila, like we don't want his hands to be in the mask, right? So then we're going to turn the overlay off. Let's go back to color and we just want this guy to be more blue. Yeah, there you go. Now it looks like he's really there. All right. But same thing as before, you can also use this as a type of rotoscope. How do we do that? So let's go over here into this node tree. We're going to go add alpha output and then we're just going to drag this blue dot right to it. Boom. And now again, it removed the opposite, so it's inverted. So we want to go back here and we want to go to uh, invert the mask, so we're just going to flip it. And there you go. This little dot here is invert. Sorry, it startled me for a minute, but invert mask. And there you go. Now he's blue, which is what we did with the coloring of the sky, but we just inverted it. And now the sky's gone, so you can see what's underneath that shot. And there you go.